This turbulent third wave has stressed Ontario's health care system like never before. And those who work in the province's medical labs say they're feeling the pressure as well. They say one of the biggest demands right now is coming from the influx of ICU admissions. One thing we don't realize is that when a patient goes into ICU, there are many more tests that need to happen in order to monitor how they're doing, especially because they're critical. All those tests go into our labs. According to the Ontario Hospital Association, there are currently 695 COVID patients in ICUs. That's an all-time high and almost double the 350 critical threshold set by the province's scientific advisors. But also adding to lab strain are the variants of concern that are driving this third wave. That requires increased testing that actually isn't um, reflected in the daily test count. So anytime any positives uh, come up, which of course nowadays is quite a number, um, they get tested again with a screening test for VOC. And then if the screening tests are positive, they go on to another test for full genome sequencing. All this on top of the regular tests that medical labs process daily. Meanwhile, the workforce has not increased significantly over the past year. Prior to the pandemic, 70% of Ontario labs were already understaffed, according to the Lab Professionals Association. Last December, the organization says close to 90% of its workforce were reporting feelings of extreme exhaustion. The burnout is real, for sure. Um, it hasn't gotten any easier. And it won't get any easier anytime soon. On Friday, the province broke another single-day case record, reporting more than 4,800 new COVID-19 cases. Jessica Burke manages the microbiology department at Mount Sinai. She says her lab is able to manage the workload right now, but knows how quickly things can change. Once our lab reaches about 10,000 or 15,000 samples a day, we wouldn't be able to do much more than that. What happens after that? We triage, like ICU, we come up with a plan of um, the emergency testing, who to prioritize. The organization representing Ontario lab professionals says looking long term, targeted funding is needed to address lab tech shortages in the province. At the moment, every training program has a wait list. For now, though, there's no option but to just keep going. I can't speak highly enough of this group of people that have worked 24-7 that are just pushing the limits of what they can physically do. This afternoon, Prime Minister Trudeau noted that the federal government has sent lab support to Ontario to help relieve some of the burden. According to the Ontario Hospital Association, the province's labs have processed close to 12 million COVID-19 tests and more than 244 million annual tests on other conditions. This week is Medical Laboratory Week. You can show your support for these frontline workers by using the hashtag MedLab THX on social media. For City News, I'm Erica Natividad.